What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. I'm here with none other than Danny Swift Garcia. What's going on with you, man? I'm doing good, man. Hard day at Meaty Day. So good. So confident. Ready to go. So, so this is a, a, a big fight for you, right? We know um, that you already held the WBC strap prior to this fight, you know, uh, and with your big fight with Keith Thurman. So now you got a chance to earn it back, man. What would you do different? What are you going to do different to assure that you don't lose the strap this time? I'm going I'm to leave it all on the line, baby. I ain't taking nothing for granted. I know what's at stake. And um, I'm looking there to go to show I'm just better and win this fight. Now. Not showing a close fight, not leaving in the hands of the judges, going in and just show that I'm better. Now, now we know um, um, Sean Porter's style is very difficult, man. What do you have to do to avoid all the, the inside, the rough, and the ugly fights, man? How do you avoid to keep them at bay and keep them, you know, at a distance? I just got to go in there and fight my fight. You know, dig deep. If I have to dig deep, I got to dig deep. I'm in good physical condition. I feel strong. My legs feel strong, you know. I just got to go in there and um, execute, execute the game plan. Okay, now now seeing as though if you, you're successful in this fight, right, uh, Keith, it sounds like Errol Spence is the mandatory for this fight. And it, every, but there's a lot of chatter that, that you yourself and Sean Porter are avoiding Errol Spence, man. What do you say to those people? I'm not avoiding nobody. Like I said before, after I get this belt, unification fight. Unification fight with him or who else? The most, the biggest fight. I want the biggest money fight. So if he's the biggest money fight, then it's unification with him. I'm no. not, I'm not ducking nobody. I'm not going. Danny Garcia never ducks nobody. Danny, Garcia. wherever you put in front of Danny Garcia, he fights. Now, now, how do you see a fight? I know you got a big fight and you don't want to look past it, but how do you see a fight playing out between yourself and Errol Spence? You know, I can't even envision that right now. To be honest with you, it's, I can't, I, I can't envision that. You know, I, I prepare for somebody else. So my mindset, I'm not even, I can't, I'm not even worried about it. Now, now, I asked, I, I was with Sean Porter and I asked him, um, as Jim, you know, a lot of people look past this era and as far as this being a, a, a golden era, you know, in the welterweight division, I know we had the Hagler, Hearns, Leonard, Durant era, but this era, I believe, my, my personal opinion, that this is just as good as that era. You got yourself, we got Errol, we got Terrence, we got uh, Sean, you know. So what do, you, what do you say to that? You know, it's always been a... Um, it's always been a talented division. Even back then when it was Trinidad, you know, Ike Corte, Pernell Whitaker, Oscar De La Hoya, and the list goes on. So the Wattsway division has always been a, um, a deep division. And, um, you know, I'm blessed to be in it. I'm blessed to be in there to fight the best and showing that I'm the best. Now, what do you think about Terrence Crawford moving up go. to the we division? Gotta go. We got to go. We got to go. You know, um, you know, congrats to his success and, hey, keep going. Hopefully I see you in the future. You never know. Thank you, thank you, man.